so it travels 30 kilometers from the, the one further away all the way to Reykjavik and uh, the heat loss all the way to Reykjavik is only about two degrees so the insulation is really good um, the insulation material is rock wool and it's only about 20 centimeters thick but it's enough to prevent any more heat loss than uh, two degrees all the way to Reykjavik so inside this pipeline is hot water which is about 84 degrees Um, this is a high temperature area, so the water is too hot to be utilized directly. It's more than 150 degrees in, in 1000 meters depth, and therefore it's too hot to be utilized directly. And uh, therefore fresh water is used, is, is taken to this power plant, and uh, the fresh water is then heated up with geothermal energy. So the houses in Reykjavik, most of the houses are heated up with fresh water that has been heated up with geothermal energy. So this is where they get, get the water to heat the homes in Reykjavik. They pipe into the city. the turbines. Inside in this building we have five units, four high pressure turbine, 45 megawatt each, and one low pressure turbine, 30 megawatt. We have also another building few hundred meters in front with two 45 megawatt units. So the total number is seven, six high pressure, one low pressure. All the screen here is a touch screen and everything is live because you take it direct from the computer room. Over here, wow. that we call the earthquake sound simulator. Mm. Here we have sound from four big earthquakes here on this area, 98, 2000, 2005 and 2008.